What's more valuable than gold or silver or plastics or any commodity? Data. That's what's valuable. And what's data? Palantir. And data for me is only going to get more exponentially valuable as we move forward in the technology boom. Hello. Holy smokes. We have the first quarter 2021 earnings release and the earnings call on Tuesday the 11th of May and it looks set to be explosive. The guidance from the previous earnings puts expected revenue growth at 45%, which if they meet or beat, will be absolutely huge. There are a few notable contracts and partnerships in the last couple of weeks, but more importantly, and quite unbelievably, Palantir have started using some of their $2 billion of cash and are seemingly buying up equity stakes in a biotech company that is set to go public via a SPAC deal. What is going on? Stay tuned for these updates and more. Keep it simple. For those of you new to the channel, I am The Simple Trader and I bring to you WPG stocks, yes, explosive exponential potential growth stocks that I'm looking to buy or already have sitting in my freedom portfolio. I am not a financial advisor so please understand this is all for entertainment only. Full disclosure, I started a position in Palantir stock back in late November when it was trading around $18 and have started adding shares when the stock fell through the $25 mark at the end of February. I did not foresee Palantir would ever drop below $20 again but pigs may fly and it sure did and it closed at $19 on Friday. I am still extremely bullish on this stock long term so please take my drill with precaution. No more plugging, let's start drilling. May the 6th the US Coast Guard renews the partnership with Palantir to fight COVID-19. The contract has a base value of $6.25 million and a potential total amount of 11.25 for nine months. What does this tell you? This tells me, yet again, once you have Palantir, you are not going to stop using Palantir. May the 7th, the UK's Royal Navy renews its contract for the Palantir Foundry platform that it uses across a broad spectrum of areas from strategic workforce planning to supply chain management to the COVID-19 response. Do you know what this renewal tells me? Yet again, once you're Palantired, you stay Palantired. ARK Invest has continued its loading up of the boat of Palantir shares and on May the 4th they loaded up another whopping 1.5 million shares into the ARK portfolio moving Palantir up to the 19th position and with a weighting of 1.6%. This is big considering Kathy Wood just came out with another interview update indicating her view that this market pullback is nothing in the long term scheme of things except presenting value. Oh, I, I love this setup. Uh, you know, I, the last time I was on, I think I said uh, that this rotation was good news because uh, it meant the bull market was broadening out. It was strengthening. And uh, the, the worst thing that could have happened to us is to have the market narrowly focus on just our ilk of stock, the, the innovation space. Uh, instead, it has broadened out so that year to date, uh, I think it's uh, energy's up 40%, financials are up 27%. And from the peak uh, in mid February, our strategies are down. Uh, well, the, the ones that have been hit the hardest, uh, not all of them, uh, are down 30 to 35%. I love that setup. Uh, uh, we're at from our, our point of view, five year time horizon, nothing has changed except the price and therefore the return, which at the peak uh, of the market and of our strategy in mid February, we expected a compound annual rate of return of 15% uh, on average per year from our strategies. Uh, now that the prices are down, uh, that, that number is somewhere in the 25 to 30% range. May the 5th, 
Cellularity enters into a multi-year strategic partnership with Palantir, but this isn't the standard partnerships we've been seeing or accustomed to. This partnership not only provides a foundry platform to enrich and accelerate the research and development of this biotech company, but it also includes equity investment by Palantir into Cellularity. Let me repeat that. It also includes equity investment by Palantir. This is big and shows me that Palantir are now really thinking outside of the box and how to grow exponentially. I believe Palantir are reaching out to many companies and striking various deals just to intertwine its software into the DNA of these companies. We will get onto what cellularity are because after drilling into this company, I believe Palantir may be onto something with their investment. First, know this. This is not the first time Palantir have invested capital into a company. Back in the end of March, Palantir were noted as one of the pipe investors into the SPAC Kell Acquisition Corp, who are set to take German air shuttle Evitol company Lilium public. Back to cellularity. On the 8th of January, they announced a merger with SPAC GX Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol GXGX, which will change post-merger to sell you. Apart from the spike in December and January, the stock has literally been stuck around the SPAC price of $10, which, knowing the workings of a SPAC, presents only upside if the merging company presents a solid future potential. Cellularity are a biotech company focused on the treatments of cancer, infectious diseases, which guess what, includes COVID-19. Actually, we're using both stem cells and immune cells, which are, which are derived from those stem cells, in order to provide a, a, a boost to the, the immune system of these patients who are fighting this virus. Uh, so it's actually a great opportunity, and it comes on the heels of breakthroughs that have occurred in immunotherapy for cancer. So this is an established methodology. We're just applying it to viral illnesses. We've received uh, clearance from the FDA who accepted our IND, our investigational new drug application. And we are now, as we speak, treating patients uh, first to demonstrate the safety of this approach. And then, and then immediately thereafter, we're gonna be looking at demonstrating that this is having an impact on reducing the viral load. Uh, a very important strategy here to treat these patients is prevent the virus from overwhelming the immune system. Listen, uh, Cellularity, my company, like others, uh, we're working around the clock to accelerate the development uh, and, and creation of the data set necessary to get our approach uh, approved and used by patients. I believe that in 30 to 60 days after initiating the treatment of these patients, we're gonna see data that can support what we're doing. The beauty of what we do is that it's highly scalable. We can produce these products to the scale necessary or forecasted for this pandemic. Um, it's, it, it comes from a, from a very, very renewable, reliable source, the postpartum placenta. And you know we're hopeful that in a very short period of time, the data will be so compelling that we'll get an accelerated review by the FDA, who's done a heroic job in working with groups like ours uh, and, uh, and, and we are hopeful that we'll be able to start treating far more patients uh, in the matter, in the matter of uh, uh, a few months. And degenerative diseases. The pipeline looks explosive and knowing what results can do for biotechs in the cancer space. Could Palantir be onto something big with their deployment of Foundry to assist the company and their actual cash investment into the pipe? pre-merger. I think Cellularity deserves a deep drill video in itself. So know this, they have FDA fast track approval for CYNK001, which is targeted at a form of leukemia. I imagine if these phase two results are positive, then oh me oh my. Apart from this, they have a further four therapeutic drugs all undergoing phase two or similar trials. They have two products actually commercialized. Think about that. Could Palantir be spotting something that only they can see with Foundry? 
I think so. And I think this play could be really explosive down the line. I see Palantir investing more and more into companies moving forwards as a means of implanting their own software to the DNA of these companies, which means one thing and one thing only, recurring revenue streams and global domination. <laughs> to summarize, with earnings call coming this week, I try to keep this video as short as possible. I think we are set to reverse the downtrend. The recent contracts are all starting to pile up. Both government and the private sectors are calling on Palantir, yet there appears to be some dark forces pushing the stock price down. Again, as I've always said, invest in the companies you believe in because long term, the stock price will be reflective. And I think in five years time, Palantir could be so big that they blow past my price target that I set back last year of $500. The seeds planted today, I believe, will grow into huge trees in the future. Who said money doesn't grow on trees? No, Michael. Money doesn't grow on trees. Thank you for watching and remember, I'm extremely bullish on Palantir stock moving forwards, so please do take this video with a pinch of salt. If you are interested in other WPG stocks that I have in my Freedom portfolio, please check out my other videos. For more huge growth stock picks, analysis and updates, please stay tuned and consider subscribing. Just consider. Go on. To my channel so you get the information first. I am the simple trader and I try to keep this simple and will simply see you next time.